You know, I do show its way I repeat myself over and over again using different terminology because I'm trying to increase the chances of my content getting looked at uh, by different people. And the reason I do that is to make sure that one particular message that I am bringing through in these shorts gets through. And right now, today I'm talking about the feverish nature of African spirituality, not African spirituality, African Christianity, and how it is that it looks very much like the practice of the prophets of Baal. It cuts itself, it chants and grunts over a fire, not over a fire, over a sacrifice that is not quite getting burned fast enough by God, making therefore the God of the universe look like Baal. It's full of lots and lots of works and activity that is there for the purpose of ultimately delivering people from strongholds, bondages of sorcery or whatever, from all around them in the periphery. When God made it clear that we have to suffer evil patiently and we've got to, after suffering, essentially anticipate that God is going to deliver us at his own time. And when he does, he will restore us to everything lacking in nothing. African Christianity has made Christianity not look like the only religion that saves.